Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Dr. Benjamin Curie, the CEO and founder of Archistar. Ben, thank you so much for joining us today. Can you start by telling us a little bit about your business? Thanks, Ali. Yeah, so Archistar um, is essentially a passion project of mine. You know, I was, I'm trained as an architect. Uh, I did a PhD in generative building design, uh, and it's something that has come about after, you know, 10 to 15 years of, of research. And really what we built is a platform for property developers, for architects, for real estate agents, anyone who's interested in development, and we've done the perfect fusion of big data around planning controls, around what you can build with 3D generative design. So we take in the data for what you can build, we show you what you can build, um, and the whole goal is to reduce the risk and to fast track any problems that may come out um, and give you the answers as quick as possible. Your solution is so cool and it's really unique. So how did you come up with the idea to create Archistar and what problems did you guys set out to solve? Yeah, so essentially, you know, as an architect, I work for some of the biggest architecture firms in the world. And when I was studying, uh, essentially, there was this new technology that came out, generative design, where instead of designing a building one by one, you could actually start to program building designs. Um, so you would set the rules and the parameters, and then the computer would come up with solutions. So I latched onto that, and I've always loved technology. Uh, when... I started um, after my PhD, I basically started by teaching the industry. I set up an e-learning academy and I was training up the industry um, on how to use this latest technology. So we set up Archistar Academy. There's now about 80,000 students on that every day, uh, 40 universities worldwide. So our first goal was to teach the industry how to use tech. Uh, and then we started doing consulting where we would work with architecture firms, engineering firms, developers, and we would use automation uh, to really speed up the process and say, maybe we can design your building in one day um, instead of a few weeks or a few months. What happened from there was that our clients, they essentially wanted to take control of that process because when you're designing a building or you're designing a property, there's negotiation, it's back and forth. You wanna test out scenarios. So we had to find a solution on how we could make that available, which is normally very techie stuff, on a CAD software, how could we make that available? Um, and essentially that's where, you know, I was introduced to Amazon um, and looking at cloud services. Could we get this advanced technology, put it onto the cloud and let people operate it from a web browser? And essentially that was where it was born. Um, and yeah, the cloud essentially made this possible. This is such a cool story. And I can't believe that you're training and teaching 70,000 kids. That's incredible. Um, I've been told a lot, you know, in my interviews, don't always say, wow, but wow, that's so cool. <laughs> um, and I can also see how using Archistar, you know, would give much more autonomy and time back to, you know, the builders and developers that are going to be using your technology. So can you tell us a little bit about how you do use the cloud to help create insights for property developers? Because you did say without the cloud, none of this would be possible. Yeah, so essentially there's a few parts to it. Um, the first part is how do you get the data in a consistent format um, and available for developers to use? So if you think about it, data comes in many different formats. There's geospatial data, it's PDF data. There's a whole range of different data sets um, and it's different across every state um, and across the world. So the first thing was how do we use data structures, databases, ETL processes, to suck all that data in and to keep it up to date from all the different formats and standardize it. So that, you know, there's a lot of reliance on um, data services um, to get that working and to really kind of take on that problem of essentially big data in planning um, and how does that work? The second bit is how do you get design computation on the web? So it's then how do you get servers that can process design? How do you make that scalable? You know, if it takes someone a day to come up with a building design and model it manually, we're spitting out a hundred to a thousand designs within a minute. So how do you get the computation to run all of them at the same time and get the result out so it's real time for the user? They type in the parameters, it spits out the design. So really it's that combination of, first of all, getting the data to provide it and to save it in there and make it available. Then it's that massive scalable computation that you need 
to be able to produce you know all of those designs and you know working with um amazon i just love seeing all the new services that keep popping up and all the new products and a lot of that time that drives innovation because you see what's new and you see wow how can i use that um and lately as we've been scaling you know we're making use of a lot of the serverless technology so with all this massive scaling you need that serverless technology to really boost and, and give that power it's pretty cool i mean i like what you said you know you keep seeing all these new services and products being released and then that kind of drives you to innovate which sort of leads me to my next question anyway which is what can we expect to see from Archistar and how are you guys continuing to innovate i guess you're making use of the products and services where do you want to go to like what can we expect to see in the next year yeah so as we move um from australia to the world uh we are using services to scale out globally um so that's a first critical part um how do we um use our cloud services to scale our infrastructure globally and we've got some really good ways that we're doing that which is really awesome second bit is um almost we're moving from there's the b2b tool where businesses start to use it uh, we're getting a lot of interest from government and from consumers so We've released out a version of Archistar that's not necessary for developers, but it's more for the residential market. So you get, um, you can put up communities of home designs and people looking for their next home can go into that community, select the lot that they're interested in and actually see which house designs um, are available that they can see in 3D and really understand it. And that's half the battle. You don't know what your new house is gonna look like or where it's going to sit, who your neighbors are going to be. So we're unlocking the ability as a home buyer, you can actually see where that next home is going to be, what it's going to look like and how it's going to be in the community. So unlocking the potential of Archistar, not only as a business tool, but something that the community um, can really use and interact with, which you know opens up massive possibilities. That is so cool. How exciting. What a cool next venture for you guys. Lastly, Benjamin, at AWS, customer obsession is so important to us. I'm sure you've seen that and experienced it in any of the dealings you've had. So can you tell us about a customer win for you guys and your business? And what actually does customer obsession mean to you at Archistar? Yeah, well, you know, as with Amazon, you know, we are extremely customer centric and we, we love our customers. And whenever you're changing an industry or you're innovating and you're making things better, the most important thing is to work directly with your customers and get that feedback earlier on so you're solving the right problems uh so we've got customers architects engineers developers government one um one really interesting one you know we're working with um a developer who essentially was working on this project for a couple of years and these projects take a long time to to design and to come up with it and they said look we've been working on this for a while what could we do with your software like, can we get a better result? How do we look at this? So we basically worked with them. Um, it was a complex site. I think it had like 2000 dwellings. Um, it was a larger site. We worked with them. And the first thing we did was we, within five minutes, we gave them a hundred possible options for what was there. Um, from that, you could really analyze and see where are you gonna get the best solar? Where are you gonna get the best ventilation? How are you gonna make the best open spaces? Do you have any privacy concerns? From that, we refined and refined using our online tools so that we came up with five viable solutions within a couple of days. Uh, and those solutions outperformed anything they did in that last two years. They had 75% of apartments that got uh, direct solar access in winter. They were naturally ventilated. They respected the heritage constraints. They had the right car parking. They had the right views. Um, and this is a process that took less than a week to really refine a hundred solutions down to five amazing solutions that outperforms what they did in two years. Um, really amazing. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. That is so exciting. And like, you're literally saving your customers hundreds of millions of dollars and time yeah. and money. So how cool is that? Yeah. I can't wait to watch your journey. Dr. Benjamin, thank you so much for coming on the show. And to all our viewers at home, if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Thank you.